Hi there. Are you ready for Marketplace for our VBS? We're going to need a lot of help, a lot of help, cleaning up and getting ready for all of VBS. Uh, so, check it out. Kids and families are going to walk in here. And, as you see, we have a lot to clean up before the team gets here. Um, this room's not too bad, but we have some things to move. Some more things to move. Some clean up, clean up on aisle six. Some more clean up on aisle six or seven. I don't know, but we can use your help greatly, greatly. Can you imagine these rooms full of kids? I sure can. So if you can help, that would be great. Let me know, and uh, I will give you a big hug. <laughs> now this reminds me of, <clears throat> where should I put that? This reminds me of one of my friend's most favorite verse that he liked to uh, recite over and over. Uh, and he really, he really applied this to his own life. Ecclesiastes 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Whatsoever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Now, as a church planter or a pastor, or a missionary, or a church worker, or a teacher, or anybody who, who is leading other people, anyone who is training other people, needs to really uh, receive that. And uh, especially those people. But not only them, but also the people that are working with you because we Christians, we should be the best workers in the world. We should be the ones who don't, who don't uh, expect someone else to do our work, who don't um, wait for somebody else to pick up pieces. But we, like a good Boy Scout, the Boy Scout motto is what? Well, I forget. <laughs> but... When they come in to a camp, their, their way of living is, let's leave this camp cleaner than we found it. And they do that with all their might. I remember when I was a Boy Scout, uh, at the end of camp, at the end of cleaning up our tents and everything, we would join hands and we would stretch out in one big line through the forest and then we'd let go of our hands. And our section right in front of us, to the right, to the left, that was our responsibility. All the way straight ahead, all the way through the camp that we um, camped in that, that week. And just like that, the whole camp would be spotless. Not a single piece of wrapper or any ash or anything was left behind because everybody had their own section they were responsible for. It reminds me also of Nehemiah. Nehemiah did the same thing. Every family in Israel, as they were building up the wall in Nehemiah, you can read that story yourself, they each had a part in building that wall. The wall in front of them was their responsibility. So, 
whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. And then, go beyond that. Ask God to give you even more strength to do more than you thought was even possible. And hand in hand, together, a whole church can sweep a whole city clean if we work together. Um, so that's the lesson for this week. See what the Lord has for you. Ask Him what is in your path that you can do this week to help your church, to help the ministry, and to do what the Lord has put in your path. Anyway, have a great 4th of July. Have a great week, and we'll get back together next week. God bless you.